The stem and leaf plot below show, represents the median age of African sub-Saharan uh, countries. Now in the previous video or previous question we used to calculate some statistics and now I want you to use these to draw a box plot. So before you're looking at this video you need to look at the one just before this video which is about identifying outliers. Right, so here's my stem and leaf plot. So here are the stems and I uh, one eight for example means eighteen. When I did my calculations, I count for from from this, I got that the lowest value is fifteen, the highest value is twenty five, because I determined that twenty seven, thirty four, thirty four, and forty one were outliers. We calculated the median to be nineteen, the lower quartile to be eighteen, and the upper quartile to be twenty one. So, using that information, we will now draw a box plot. So, there's the information. It's best to do it on some sort of graph paper. Here, these are the outliers. Okay, if we draw a straight line here, draw sort of a horizontal axis, label the axis. These were the median age. So, we start with the uh, lowest value, and what we do is we draw in a line here. So, this needs to be a line. Don't, doesn't matter about the length. Um, but it's going to be slightly smaller than the box. Then at 18, at 18, I need to draw a longer line. I'm going to join these two up here. So we get a longer line here. We call that Q1. We join up the middle of this line to the line here. And then the median at Q2 is going to be at 19. So that's going to be here. Okay, and then the upper quartile will be at 21, which will be here. And then we will join this line up here and this line up here. Okay, join, putting the highest value in at 25, and then we draw a straight line up to here. Now normally we won't put these labels on, this is just done for the sake of uh, teaching you where each thing should go and you don't have to color it but it looks a little bit better if I color it in like that now we got these outliers that they need to put be put at 27 34 only has to appear once because it appears twice up here and 41 so these are the outliers that we have calculated So these are called outliers. Now, if we go to our GeoGebra data, so remember I got the date. So I've got this data here in GeoGebra. If I select the data and go to one variable analysis and analyze and make that box bigger. And if I select stem and leaf plot, that was our stem and leaf plot that we did before. And if I do this for here, we can separate it and it will do the box plot with our outliers and everything on and our scale along the bottom. Okay, we can see our box plot like we've done. And if I don't want to have both, uh, I'd like to get rid of that and just have the box plot like that. Okay, there's been a video to show you how to do a box plot from a stem and leaf graph once we've calculated all the statistics. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.